Hi, I'm Rob Cosman. Welcome to my shop. I was recently asked, the difference between a cross cut and a rip, how do you determine when to use which? So let me keep this as simple as possible. I've got a dovetail saw here, which is a rip saw, and I have a cross cut saw, which is, as I said, a cross cut saw. So let me just try it. I'm cutting into a piece of maple. I'm cutting down into the end grain. So if I was cutting dovetails, this is what I would be doing, not on the side. I'd be cutting it into the end grain. And watch how fast it cuts. And I'll try to do this as fairly as possible. Now I'm going to take a cross cut saw and try to make the same cut with it. Considerably slower. Can do it, but not nearly as fast. So let me uh, illustrate with a piece of pine. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a mortise chisel. And the mortise chisel is going to represent the rip tooth. If you were to magnify this and look down the tooth line of a rip saw, it would look like a bunch of chisels. This is actually a mortise chisel. And you'd see all of these chisels lined up. Actually, they would be slightly offset, each one to the opposite side. That is what we call set. And that produces a kerf, which is a little wider than the saw plate, so it doesn't bind in the cut. So if you're ripping parallel to the grain, you'll see how nice and clean this removes the wood. I'll just take successively deeper cuts. And you end up with a pretty clean cut. But if I try to go across the grain with that same saw, you'll see what happens. It's not very neat at all. It tears the wood out. Okay? If I use a cross cut, and the cross cut has these triangular shaped three sided teeth on either side, so like a knife, they'll come in there and they will sever the fibers on either side as you're going and then the teeth themselves will actually clear that material out in between but those those uh, oh, that was a lousy example let me try that again I'll make it a little bit deeper out here so my teeth come in and they score either side with those sharp teeth and as they're doing it the material in between gets removed and those points keep going down deeper and deeper and you end up with somewhat of a clean cut. A bit of a tough example. Now I'm going to take the same piece of maple and a, 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 a fine rip like this will actually do a fairly decent job cross cutting. Not quite as efficient. Then you come in with your cross cut saw and the idea is can we produce a surface clean enough directly from the cross cut saw that we could then go in there and join to it. So if I bring another piece of flat material into there, I should get a perfect fit without having to go in there and touch it with a chisel or anything else after the fact. Now, same goes for table saw blades. They make designated rip blades, they make designated cross cut, and they make a lot of combination blades, which do both jobs pretty well. I still contend that the designated saw is going to do a better job at ripping and the designated crosscut is going to do a better job at crosscutting. And if you can afford the luxury, then have one of each. Those are my two. My 15 TPI crosscut, we call it a joinery crosscut. Very fine teeth, only two thousandths of an inch set per side. So it gives you a lovely smooth cut. And my dovetail saw, which has the little starter teeth out front, followed by the bigger 15 teeth per inch for the speed, and they too are just two thousandths of an inch set per side. So it gives you a very smooth surface. Anyway, I hope that helps.